Hey guys, happy Monday. How's it going? So I'm just going to give you a forewarning. This is going to be the last video that you see of me with my long hair. I am cutting it off tomorrow. Um, I am very nervous and I'm very scared, but I need a change. It's just so heavy and I never have time to do it. It takes forever when I do want to style it. Um, so yeah, we're going to see. I haven't had short hair in like 15 years. So hopefully I don't cry. <laughs> But anyways, it's a fresh week. It's Monday morning. I just dropped both kids off at school. I have about an hour and a half to kill until I have to go get Alexis again. Um, she's in preschool, so she only goes for two and a half hours. So I'm going to be going to CVS and Walgreens this morning. I'm actually in the CVS parking lot right now, ready to go in. Um, I will be stopping for sure at Target this week. Maybe another store. We'll see. I'm only in town until Thursday. I am flying somewhere. I can't tell you where and I can't tell you why but I do have very exciting news coming up. I promise I will tell you guys all about it whenever I can. So yeah I have a short week here. Um, my husband's gonna have to take the kids to school and figure that out. I also have LASIK on Saturday so I'm trying to get everything done in the beginning of the week so I don't have to stress. I don't have to worry about it um, towards the end of my week. So we're about to head into CVS. If you guys are interested please keep watching. Up first is the Colgate mouthwash on sale for $3.99 and if you buy one you get a $2 extra care buck. I have a $1 off coupon from the newspaper as well as a $1 off CVS digital and a 50 cents off CVS digital. After those coupons apply I'm going to pay $1.49 but get back that $2 extra care buck making it not only free but a 51 cent money maker. Alright, next up is Revlon Cosmetics. If you spend $10, you get $4 extra care bucks. I'm going to want to go ahead and spend $20, meaning I'm going to get $8 extra care bucks back. Now, CBS has a 98% rule, meaning that your total needs to be 98% of that threshold that you need to reach. So for me, I need to spend $20 to get $8 back. So 98% of $20 means I would need to spend $19.60 or more. So I'm going to go ahead and grab two of these lip stains. They are $9.99 each, making my total $19.98. I have a buy one get one free coupon, which will bring my total down to $9.99. And I'm going to get back that $8 extra care bucks, meaning I'm going to pay $1.99 or $0.99 each. Next up, Rimmel Cosmetics. If you spend $12, you get $8 extra care bucks back. Again, I'm going to use that 98% rule. I have two $2 off any eye makeup coupons, so I'm going to get one of the cheaper eyeliners and one of the more expensive ones to make sure that my threshold is in that 98% rule so I can get my $8 extra care bucks. So my total would be $11.78 minus the $4 in coupons making my total $7.78, but then I'm getting back $8 extra care bucks, meaning it is a free money maker. Last is the Soft Soap Body Wash. They are on sale. Buy one, get one 50% off. If you go to softsoap.com, you can find 75 cent printable coupons. Also on your CBS account, check and see if you have a $2 off six body wash digital coupon. So you're gonna pay $3.98, but get $3 back in extra care bucks, making them 49 cents. All right, so here's my first transaction. I got the mouthwash and two of the Revlon Cosmetics. Here are all my coupons that came off. I did use $5 in extra care bucks, that three and two. I never count that as a coupon. I always count that as money that I previously spent, so I will add that to my subtotal, meaning that my subtotal should be $11.48. It says $6.48, but I'm going to add in the factor of those extra care bucks, so $11.48, but I did get back $10 in extra care bucks. I got $2 back for the mouthwash, and I got $8 back for the Revlon products, meaning that I only paid $1.48 for all three items. And then here is my second receipt. I got the mouthwash, two of the body wash, two Rimmel products, and two Revlon products. Here are all of my coupons that came off. I did use $1 in extra care bucks, just the quarterly extra bucks. So I am going to add that to my subtotal, making it $24.54, but I did get back $21 in extra care bucks. I got $8 for the Rimmel, $8 for the Revlon, three for the body wash, and two for the mouthwash. So $24. 54 minus $21. That means I paid only $3.54 for everything. $3.54 for four different cosmetics, two body wash, and a mouthwash. Not too bad. 
So I'm a little bummed that my CVS did not have any clearance. Right now, a lot of different CVS locations have back to school clearance, 90% off, and lots of snack items, 70% off, like those big variety packs of chips or crackers or cookies, all those 70% off but my store had nothing, not a single thing. So that was a little bit unfortunate, but I took too much time in there looking around that I lost track of time. I need to pick up Alexis in 45 minutes. So I'm gonna quick race over to Walgreens before I go and grab her. So here we go, guys. First off, I'm gonna tell you guys I have a 10% off total purchase coupon that I will be using. So this first deal was not on my list. It was just clearance that I stumbled across. This lotion, originally $10.99 on clearance for $2.79, and I had a $1.50 off coupon, making it only $1.29 for this really nice lotion. So right now, all soft soap hand soap is on sale, buy one, get one 50% off, and if you buy four, you get 4,000 points. Now I'm choosing to buy the $1.99 soaps because you can use the 50 cent off coupons with these. If you buy the smaller hand soaps, you cannot use these coupons. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy four and use four of the coupons. Remember they are buy one, get one 50% off. So after your coupons and after you factor in the balance reward points, it makes them 74 cents each. Alright, easy deal, no coupons needed. The Revlon Lip Balm is $4.99. You will get a $5 printed register award, making it completely free. Can't get any easier than this, you guys. Purox Crystals and Detergent is on sale for $1.99. If you go onto your Walgreens account, you can find a $1 off digital coupon offer, which will make them only 99 cents, only one per account. Same with the Angel Soft Toilet Paper, you're gonna wanna go ahead and go on your account to clip that $1 off coupon. There is also another $1 off coupon in the monthly savings book, which you can use with that digital offer. These are on sale for $2.99, so after you subtract both of those $1 off coupons, it'll make it only 99 cents. All right, I always stress how important rain checks are, you guys. Here is the perfect example, Charmin and Bounty. I had a rain check, $4.99 each, and if you buy three, you get a $6 register award. I waited until they were back in stock, and also I waited until I got some more $1 off coupons. These are gonna be crazy cheap, you guys. It will make them only $1.99 a pack. Right now, they're priced at $7.49, so this is amazing savings. All right, last deal, the Giorno Pizza is on sale two for $9. Go onto your Walgreens account and clip the $3 off to coupon. It will make the pizzas only $3 each, which is really cheap for the Giorno frozen pizza. All right, so my transaction went through flawlessly. I got four of the soft soaps. I got the Purex crystals, the Angel Soft toilet paper, two of the DiGiorno pizzas, that shea butter lotion that was on clearance, and then I got two of the Charmin and one of the Bounty that I had on that rain check, and then I got the Revlon lip balm. So here, all of my coupons came off. You can see that 10% off 35, and then all my other coupons came off just fine. My subtotal before tax was 28.71, so 28.71, but I did get back 8,000 in points for the soft soap. I got back a $6 register award. They gave me 6,000 points since you can't reprint a register award. So 6,000 right there for the Bounty and the Charmin. And I also got back a $5 register award for the Revlon lip balm. So like I just said, subtotal pre-tax $28.71 minus $19 in rewards and points. All of that ended up was $19. So 28 minus 19, that means I paid $9.71 for everything. $9.71 for four things of soap, a thing of paper towel, three things of toilet paper, Purex crystals, and oh, yep, two pieces, a lotion, and a lip balm. Holy cow, I got a ton of stuff for only $9, you guys. Walgreens is killing it this week. So yeah, guys, that's it. CVS and Walgreens are done for the week. I'm very happy. I got a ton of stuff for under $15 total. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you it all right now. Yep, so this is it guys, everything under $15, like I said. Got the pizza, got lots of paper products, soap, all those makeup items, body wash, mouthwash. Yep. <laughs> yep, Alexis is here from school now. Can you say hi? Hi. 
<laughs> did you help me set up? Yeah. What did you help set up? The pizza. Are you going to have some of that makeup? Yes. You want some? Yeah. For your bedroom makeup? No, I don't need one. Those are like lip balms. No, no, those are ones. That's eyeliner and another lip balm. You want that for your makeup in your bedroom? I want this one for me and this one for me. Yeah. Did we do? Did mommy do a good shopping I trip? This one for me, and this one for me, and this one for me. What about that pizza? Who's that pizza for? Me. Cheese pizza. And you what about this? Who's me. what's who's the toilet paper for? You. Yeah, <laughs> you. I'm not deep makeup. Okay, we'll do that. All right, guys. So that's our little haul. Yeah, you definitely can't be under $15 for all that stuff. I said earlier, I did kind of wish that I hit up some of that CVS clearance. My store was completely out. So do check up your store. Like I said, it's like variety pack snacks, back to school supplies, um, lunch boxes, and like thermos containers. So all that stuff, 90%, 70% for the food. So go check it out. And also remember next time you see me, this hair is going to be gone. I'm not shaving my head, but I'm definitely thinking like about here. So we're going to we're going to lose quite a bit, you guys. It's going to be a, a big change. So I will be posting that on my Instagram and my TikTok accounts if you want to see it before my next YouTube video. So wish me luck. Hopefully I don't regret this decision. It's a big decision. And yeah, that's all I got for you today. If you guys have any questions, like always, please leave them in the comments. Until next time.